Hello there, this is David from David Books and Comics, and today I want to talk about Terry Harknett, who was the creator of one of the most successful Western series, The Edge series. But the reason I'm showing A Fistful of Dollars is for two reasons. One, this one was written actually by, or novelized by Frank Chandler, who is in actuality Terry Harknett. And Terry Harknett is the creator of one of the most successful Western series, the Edge series, which was published first in New English Library and then subsequently in Pinnacle Paperbacks in the United States, the men's action adventure publisher. So I read the first novel. It's called The Loner. And it features the character Josiah Hedges. But a little bit about Terry Harknett. Terry Harknett was born in 1936 in England and died in England in 2019. He was a prolific Western writer. As I read the first novel in the Edge series, I figured out that the greatest influence on Harknett was the Italian Westerns, which we call today Spaghetti Westerns. Spaghetti Westerns began in the early 1960s, but one of the most famous of these was novelized by Harknett. The copyright is 1972. It's called A Fist Full of, Full of Dollars. The movie was initially released in 1964, in the early heydays of Italian westerns. Now you see on the cover there Clint Eastwood and he was one of the more famous, probably the most famous today of all of the spaghetti western actors. But there was also Lee Van Cleef who featured in a few quite a few films and another one called uh, another actor called Robert Woods who also featured in a few uh, Spaghetti Western films. The Edge books, I would say, were mostly influenced by these Italian Westerns. They are quick and easy reads, and like many of the Spaghetti Westerns, are very violent. Nonetheless, they are fun to read for the quality of the writing, in the rapid-fire fast pace. Harknett wrote 61 Edge novels, including three, what we call three crossover, crossover novels, with his other famous character, which I think appeared in about 49 books, and his name was Adam Steele. This is the first of the crossover novels. It's called Two of a Kind, and you have Josiah Hedges, Edge, and Adam Steele on the cover there. This is the New English Library edition. You can look at the publication date here. Looks like this is the first, yeah. First NEL paperback edition. So, world first from 1980. By then, Edge and Steele were very popular Western. Uh, novels. So Harknett, as I said, wrote 61 edge novels, 30, uh, three crossover novels. Edge, who is Edge? Edge is Josiah Hedges. He uh, was going to retire from the bloodshed of war after serving in the Union Army during the American Civil War. When he returns home, though, he discovers that his homestead and his younger brother have been brutally killed. The stories begin there, as Josiah Hedges' persona begins to change right from that incident. He, beco he becomes a man out seeking revenge for the brutal murder of his younger, younger brother. The violence is vividly described in all of the novels, by the way. There's lots of action, and it's, they're quite violent to read. Nonetheless, as others have said before, quite addictive. The, I, I have some of the New English Library books, especially in the later, 
the later books, which have slightly different covers uh, from the Pinnacle books. So the ones I'm going to show are Pinnacle, mostly Pinnacle, but some of the new English library books. So I only have a little over half. So I hope you enjoy what I have. The covers are slightly different, but they are quite graphic, but well done painted covers. So I hope you enjoy this little presentation. So let me move that aside. Number one, like I said, I read an ebook version. I didn't uh, read the, uh, the actual paperback, but I'll show you the, the ones I do have. So this is number two. This is called 10 grand. This is number four. Don't have number three. This is killer's breed. Number five is blood on silver. Number six is red river. Number seven is the California Kill. And you notice they're all pinnacle. This is a pinnacle. This is a later one. And this one's pinnacle. As far as I can tell, these are original covers. They're, they're original and different from the, the uh, New English Library. This is the New English Library version of Seven Out of Hell. And I'll show you, this is the pinnacle one. This is Hell 7. This is number 8 in the series. Number 9 is Bloody Summer. Number 11 is Sue Uprising. This is the pinnacle cover. Sue Uprising. Number 14 is Tiger's Gold. I guess I'll move some of these out. Number 15 is this one. Paradise Loses. Number 16, The Final Shot. And this is a later number 17, Pinnacle. And it's called Vengeance Valley. This is the earlier one without the 3,500,000 copies sold. It's number 17. Number 20 is this one. That's Sullivan's Law. Number 21, Rhapsody in Red. Number 22, is Slaughter Gold. This is 26. Savage Dawn. 27. Death Drive. It's a beautiful blue cover there. 29. The Living, the Dying, and the Dead. That's that one. All right, let me move those aside. And we have 31, The Guilty Ones. Thirty-two is The Frightened Gun. 33 is Red Fury. Now we have some uh, New English Library. This is, and they're a little slicker and cleaner with the New English Library sticker on it right there. And this one is the first. So the New English Library are actually the first, the originals. So this is number 34, Ride in the Sun. 
35 is death deal. Nice cover there. 37, and this is a pinnacle, Vengeance Adventura. 38. Again, condition is not the criteria for collecting, they're for reading. So that's 38. It's called Massacre Mission. 39 is this one. It's called The Prisoners. Forty is Montana Melodrama. All right, we'll take that away and we'll look through some more. Forty one is The Killing Plane. 42, Bloody Sunrise. 43 is Arapaho Revenge. 43. And this is the New English Library, number 44, The Blind Side. And you can see the circle is still there in the New English Library. And it's changed title logo change with this one. This is House on the Range, number 45. Number 46 is The Godforsaken. This is number 53, one of the much later ones. And number 59, that's the last one that I have. It's called Terror Town. All right, so that's the edge series the ones that i have so i hope you enjoyed that look through one of the most famous of all the western uh, paperback series there were others there's the american version uh, which i have a few of but i collected mostly the lone star series which i may show in the future uh, the problem with the lone star series unlike the edge series is they have generic covers there's not one that's all that different from another but anyways so i hope you enjoyed this and if you did give me that thumbs up the like uh for like thanks everyone for your subscribing and uh, as always the channel continues to grow slowly uh but surely and comments are always appreciated all right, thanks. Bye.